Guess who's back, 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 back. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into this video. I know it's been a bit of a, a hot minute since I filmed my last video. It's because, you know, you know, stuff, a lot of things have been happening. But if you're new to my channel, my name is Any Baby. I film YouTube videos about topics that I'm passionate about. And I film YouTube videos because I watch a lot of YouTube videos. And I thought, why not, you know, give back to something that I learned so much from. So yeah, I film YouTube videos to share things that I'm passionate about with the hope that it would help somebody or, you know, yeah, just things that I've learned over the years and with the hope that it would help somebody. Right, so in this video, I am going to be talking about climate change. As you can see from the topic, um, climate change is a hot topic right now. And I think personally for me, like I've been so ignorant about climate change for like a couple of, I think climate change has been a reoccurring topic for a very long time. But I think it's now that people are taking it a lot more seriously. And I think that's my story as well. Like they've been talking about it for a long time, but I've just recently been researching into it and trying to understand what climate change is, how we affect our lives and you know how i can help and that's the reason i'm filming this video because if there is anyone that's like me that you know has been hearing a lot about climate change but doesn't know like how to help or doesn't really understand it that's why i'm filming this video because i've done my homework i've done a lot of research i've read journals i've watched youtube videos and i've educated myself on climate change and i'm just here to share some of the things that i've learned with the hope that it would help somebody else before i go on i must give special thanks i must give credit to katrin heho i hope i'm pronouncing it right she's an evangelical christian that has been raising a lot of awareness on climate change and I've been reading a lot of articles and watching a lot of videos from her to understand what climate change is, how we affect our lives and how we can help. So yeah, if, you, if you're interested in the topic, please keep watching. But before we continue this video, please, I would like you to subscribe to my channel and also like this video. Um, yeah, I, I have a target to reach 200 subscribers before the end of the year. So please help me reach my target by subscribing to my channel and also telling people about my channel or sharing it on your platform. I would really appreciate that. Thank you very much. So what is climate change? Climate change is considered to be a long-term change in the average temperature of the earth. And um, basically it has been reported that the earth temperature is one degree hotter than it has been in recent years. And it's, it's also been said that the cause of this, earth, this change in the earth temperature is because of the release of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. And that depletes the ozone layer and that exposes us to the harmful gases that is being protected by the ozone layer because the hot temperature is um is depleting the ozone layer basically and we can ask so what like why why do we care about the earth getting warmer um the reason we should care actually is because it might sound trivial but the impact is massive like for example i personally experience the impact of climate change for in my office um as a phd student um, last summer was so hot it was reported to be the hottest summer in over 20 years and the impact of that is that a lot of my colleagues did not come to work because it was so hot that they couldn't even concentrate at work like it was so unbearable how high the temperature was and that is one of the impacts of climate change it might seem trivial but it's causing a lot of like inconvenience personally another reason why climate change is something that we should be interested in and the impact of of climate change is secondly there are more extreme droughts and wildfires so for example in areas for example in the united states i don't know if you heard but there was a time where there was a breakout of fire and that 
killed so many more people because because of the hot temperature it, it just kept you know driving all those trees and the wildfire just went through all the cars and it killed a lot of people and that's another impact of of the increase in the earth temperature it means that when there's droughts the wildfire is more dangerous and it kills more people another reason that we should be concerned about climate change is because because the earth is getting warmer the the um places the part of the earth that is cold i think it's the north sea is is melting so that means that the the sea level is increasing so there is more like water in the sea than normal and what the impact of that is that those water is flooding into people's houses and it's taking over communities there are places in the united states where people's houses have been completely overtaken by water and you know it's on it's inhabitable people cannot live there i don't know if that's the right english but basically people can't live there that means that family homes is the people family have to like eradicate their areas you know people's houses have been taken over because of these floods and that's another impact of climate change another impact of climate change is more extreme hurricanes it's also been reported that hurricanes are more violent and they are more dangerous and they kill more people because you know the high temperature it causes these things to just it just causes the natural occurrences to be even more dangerous and this is killing people another impact of climate change is extinction of species um, a lot of species are not adapted to this change in temperature and that is causing um, massive deaths in species that are not well adapted for high temperature and we know we can say oh yeah it's just birds that are dying like we don't know what's gonna die next and the reality is that we need to be concerned about these things because they impact us in one way or the other you know the species that are dying they're part of the food chain and once that dies the animals that are dependent on those are likely to die as well so it's something that you know it's, it's, it's almost like a, I don't know if I'm permitted to say this, but we could potentially call it a silent killer. Like it's coming for different species one by one. And I think it's something that we really need to, you know, be aware of and do our part in helping. So now I'm going to talk about the factors that causes climate change. A lot of research has been done to understand the different things that contribute to climate change. And the first one the biggest contributor is transport. Transport releases 35% of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere and that is um, that is one of the dangerous things that contributes to climate change. Another major contributor is um, the industry like for example the oil and gas industry, the iron industry, those industries that releases dangerous um, harmful gases greenhouse gases into the atmosphere this causes also depletion of the ozone layer and essentially increase in temperature another thing that causes and um, that contributes to climate change is um buildings when we different houses have different heating structure and when we heat things or when we you know different household activities releases um 19 percent of greenhouse gases into the ozone layer and another thing that in, that contributes to um that contributes to climate change is um animals some animals they um when, when they release their feces they they leave um, methane into the earth and methane is also a greenhouse gas that causes climate change also um, different factors like waste management when we don't recycle things when we don't recycle our waste properly that also contributes to climate change and although we can say it's six percent of um six percent of so the the percentage of waste that causes climate change is six percent but it's still relevant and it's something that we still need to think about another factor that contributes to climate change is electricity when we use um, electric, electrical equipment in the house, they release 7% of 
or they contribute 7% of, of the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere which is dangerous and it causes depletion of the ozone layer and it contributes to the warming of the earth's temperature right now so i want to address quickly the people that doubt that climate change is happening so the argument is that um first of all when we look at the data that's been used to make the conclusion that the earth's temperature is increased by one percent they are large error bars so that means that the data are very inconsistent and also the second argument is that the earth temperature is always changing and um the hurt as a natural way of regenerating and you know helping itself to recover my my take on that is that first of all um i've never i feel like there's never been a point where it's been this serious do you know what i mean like i've never since since i've been conscious i've never felt the need to worry about climate change until now so i feel like the fact that you know it's it's actually happening now the fact that a lot of people are raising awareness about it it shows that you know there is some form of validation to it and because personally i gave an example of how climate change affected me and how you know the reality of climate change in the uk and i guess my point is that we don't want to wait until something really dangerous happens before we you know before we react I know, you know, people say it's hard to trust the government and they have an agenda and things like that. But I'll just say, you know what, the reality, facts show that, you know, the Earth's temperature is warmer. We can see that, you know, we, the facts don't lie. The reality is that when we have wildfires, they're a lot more worse. The fact is that floods is taking over people's houses. The facts that we can't deny is that the North the north area the place that's filled with ice is melting and these are facts okay so we can't argue with facts and i think that we as human beings need to do our part to help to reduce the impact of this climate change and you know even if you're not sure i feel like we need to we need to you know do the best that we can we don't want to wait until things get worse before we take actions the next thing I want to talk about is how we can help. The first way that we can help is basically to reduce the amount of time that we drive. So transport adds 35% of these greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. So I mean it doesn't mean that we don't drive again but just little adjustments to our driving routine. Like for example if you need to go to the shops instead of and if the shop is close to your house instead of you know uh, drive into the shops you can walk to the shops for example if you live in a big city like london where it's well connected um if you don't have to take your car you can consider getting public transport just little practical changes in that regard would help to prevent the release of these greenhouse gases into the atmosphere another way that we can help is for example if you live in an environment where you have the choice between using a green um, source of energy or using like um like fossil fuel source of energy for electricity or for your buildings because um buildings the release of greenhouse gases from buildings contributes 19 percent of these greenhouse gases into the atmosphere so if we can you know use an alternative sources i know in nigeria a lot of people have solar panels and they use that instead of generators as a source of electricity so that would be a better alternative um, to help with climate change another way that we can help is to actually reduce the amount of um, dairy products and meats that we eat because the release of the harmful gases from animals contributes six percent of these greenhouse gases into the atmosphere so if we eat less meat i'm not saying we shouldn't eat meat but i'm saying if we eat less meat that would mean that the farmers produce less meat and that would mean that there's less amount of methane gas on in there that's been released from these animals and that will also contribute to the reduction in the um 
release of these harmful gases into the atmosphere another way that we can help is to recycle better so i know i personally will be doing that so for example you know you can have a, a different bin i know a lot of people do this but just for the sake of um saying it again and um, you can have a bin for recycle have one for food waste and make sure that you try to dispose of your waste in the proper way and this would help the um, law enforcement people or people in charge of waste to be able to dispose of these things in the most um in the most sustainable way for the environment and i believe that these are just some practical things that we can do or that we can do to help the environment in a better way the next point i want to address is why we as christians should be concerned about climate change and um, you know sometimes we christians can argue that you know what we you know we are promised heaven so we shouldn't care about the earth you know this earth is just temporary our home is in heaven but i actually believe that we christians should care about um climate change and here's why the Bible is the book that we believe that is inspired by God and I feel like the Bible is what we Christians believe that this is the way that God wants us to live our lives and in the Bible in Genesis 1 verse 26 to 28 the Bible says that he created he gave man basically gave us dominion over the fishes of the sea the birds of the earth and all the animals and he gave us dominion over the earth I need to emphasize on that god gave us power over the earth and i feel like if god entrusted us with something i feel like that gives us a responsibility to look after it okay so i feel like one of the reasons that we christians should care about climate change is because we have been given responsibility to look after the earth and like how can we look after the earth when we know that this impact on climate change is causing depletion of the earth and it's causing extinction of the animals that God has given us to you know have power over and we can't turn a blind eye on that you know God gave us the power to look after animals and all the things of the earth and we can't say oh I don't care about that because you know that's what the Bible says then you know it's causing total wipeout of these animals that god has entrusted us with it's something that we should be concerned about okay so i believe that's that's the first reason the second reason i believe we as christians should you know care about climate change or be interested and do something about climate change is because climate change is affecting our neighbors and is affecting people in more drastic ways than us but it's also affecting people that you know are less disadvantaged or people that you know don't have the power to help themselves especially people in the poorer regions and we as christians we are called to love people we are called to love our neighbors and care about other people you can't claim to care about other people and be aware that this impact of increase in temperature is taking over their houses you know it's causing wildfires that's killing massive people it's causing more dangerous and more violent hurricanes and just say oh i don't care like i feel like because it's affecting other people and we are called to love other people we need to do something about it that's the second reason why i believe that christians should care about climate change and should you know try to help in the way that we can another reason i believe that we christians should care about climate change is because the depletion of this ozone layer if we don't do something about it it's going to get worse and it's going to release even more harmful gases onto this earth and we we don't even know how dangerous it will be and i feel like you know we can say oh the impact might not be you know obvious until maybe 50 years like what the old goethe movement we are having children and we want to leave you know the earth in a better way so that you know when we have our own children they live in an earth that is not you know filled with dangerous gases and is actually a place where people can live in a safe place so i feel like that's another reason because you know we need to leave this earth in a better way and try to make it a conducive environment for our children to grow without any form of like 
um, concern for dangerous um, without any form of like concern for their exposure to dangerous gases which is caused by climate change another reason that we should care about climate change is because it affects us <laughs> I mean I'm sorry to be sarcastic but the reality is that climate change affects us and that's what we should care you know I feel like God has given us so much potential God has put a lot of you know gifts and talents in us and it'll be a shame for us to you know be exposed to the impacts of climate change and for climate change to affect us in a drastic way that would mean that we can't fulfill the purpose that God has for us if you get what I mean I feel like even the Bible says my people perish because of lack of knowledge we need to do something about these things that is happening and we can say oh it's happening in this country and in that country and it doesn't concern us but we don't know tomorrow it can you know be our turn thank you so much for watching this video till the end